Hello everyone. Right, I think this is a SIBO. Um, I say I think because I'm expecting some other vacuums. But obviously, by the time I upload this video and edit it, I'll know what it is and I'll put it in the title. I have a feeling it's a SIBO C2 Total. And yes, it is. Now, regular viewers or viewers that have gone through my entire back catalogue will have seen me unboxing one of these and I've still got it and it was not too bad. It, it smelt quite badly of cigarettes. I saw this on eBay and it looked, from the photos, it looked in better condition. So I thought out of the two, I'll get one decent one and I will sell my other one. There's no point in having two similar or the same. So looking at the tube, I th that is in good condition. So that's a good sign, first of all. Yes, that's a very nice condition. Telescopic tube. Yeah, so that uh, bodes well for the rest of it. Oh, yes, it does look good. I don't know why they didn't take the hose off. I like the C series. Um, they're my favorite SIBO canister obviously they've done the K series um, the E series the D series but um, for me there's always something about the C series that I think is a very elegant looking cleaner right this isn't too bad that'll clean up nice that's the hose there's a bit of bit of gunk in there so it's not it's a non-powered hose it's just a straight suction cleaner you can all right let me check no you can't on this one you could on my, I've got the C1, which was SIBO's first cylinder. I've still got one of those. You can check back on my SIBO playlist for that. That does have a power takeoff socket and it was possible to retrofit a motorized head, but this one isn't. It does come with an air powered one though. So there's the hose. And here is the air powered. In the earlier color scheme, later models, there would have been a darker gray. This is the light gray. And again, that looks in fairly good shape it's just dirty but even the little squeegees on this uh you know haven't worn down it's one of those companies i can't pronounce the w company wieselwerk or something isn't it that make these um let's have a look Ooh, ooh, yuck a bit gunky in there but nothing nothing a good clean won't sort out so that's the turbo nozzle the full-sized one uh, yeah, so this was illustrated and I thought, well, that isn't the instruction book. But it's um, interesting, it's a little leaflet showing some other... I don't know if I've got this one, actually. I think I might have this leaflet. They actually did it in a teal colour look. I don't know what the difference was. I think it didn't have the turbo head. The thing I like about these, if you... If you were lucky enough to have two SIBO cleaners and you owned one of the X series uprights, this takes the same dust bags, so you wouldn't have to buy different bags for them. That's, um, I did recently buy a spare one of these. Somebody was selling one on eBay for about five pounds because I remember the one I've got, I've got one of these with another SIBO C, C series and it's all rusted. This one isn't too bad. But it's not as good um, as the one I bought separately, so I'll probably use that with this to make it nice. But it's a decent nozzle. I think early Dyson DCO2s had this style of nozzle. But it's a good, it's a good, obviously it's German. German made, and I think it's made by that same company that I can't pronounce. So that's that. Whoops. Oh, it is a heavy beast though. And this needs a bit of a clean. That would not have been supplied with this cleaner. That is the full-sized dusting brush that SIBO still produce. Very big brush that, and that's uh, had a bit of use as well, but that's a bonus because you don't normally get that. In fact, it's odd, SIBO don't really supply, I don't think there's any, I'm not sure if they do supply the dusting brush. I know they do with the um, D series cylinders because there's a space for it. Right, yes, looking at this, it is in better condition than the one I opened first. Even the, well, the air belt 
doesn't it? Yes, it's starting to go a bit. The air belt um, cover needs replacing. They're still available. But I'll have to get them both out and compare. I just think, I just love this, the elegance of these cleaners, the, the way they swoop down. Um, they're very manoeuvrable. Oh, look, it's missing that look. I'll get that from the other one, but you can still buy that part. There's this little clip that should be on there covering the air belt. I wonder if these spare air belts come with it. I think they might do, to be honest. I'm sure I bought a spare air belt and it had the clip. I think I've got one, so there's no problem with that. The spares are still available. So it's a 1500 watt cleaner and full sized and you've got three tools stored. Hopefully we've got the three tools stored inside here. That's not springing open very readily. Yes, we've got the three full size tools. Crevice tool. That's the standard regular dusting brush. Just needs a clean. It's not quite in the correct position for storing away. There we are. And then you've got your upholstery nozzle. Right, let's have a look at the rating sticker. So it says 1200, max 1500 watts. Type SIBO Airbelt C2. The serial is K214353. Stein and Company, made in Germany. Okay, let's put all the tools back. So normally with cleaners that had the onboard tools when you buy them second hand they do normally have all the tools with them because uh, they don't get lost now this is missing the instruction book I might have it for the other one and normally with these the instruction book was actually stored here little slotted in so I'm pretty sure the one I got earlier has got that so this is in overall better condition and if it smells better than the other one I think this will be the one to keep with uh, maybe take a few bits off the other one depending but yes from memory it's a long time since I unboxed the other C2 total the bags for these instead of being as you'd expect with a cleaner of this style pressing a catch here and lifting the top up no SIBO have done it differently as with their K series you access the bag from the back. So I've got the same symbol you'd expect to find on the upright of this era. Wonder if it's got uh, a new bag in or, I've, or have I been sent a load of dirt? I've been sent a load of dirt. Never mind, I can use that. <laughs> Paper bag, but of course there are new fleece bags for the X-Series, so I can use those in this. I don't tend to use paper bags anymore. If there is the uh, fleece option, I always go for the fleece option. So, uh, as I said, it's large capacity, the same as the X series. Two filters that will that will need replacing, definitely. Now, I think the red one is the the hospital grade, the higher grade filter, because they do one that's green and it's um, it doesn't have as many layers, doesn't have that middle layer. I don't think. You can buy a service box for this, just like you can for the X-Series, which includes the bags and both filters, and that's the normally the most economical way of doing it. These aren't supposed to be washable. Yes, it does say actually on it, hospital grade, but yuck. So new filters, definitely. The exhaust filter is here. Ah, and that certainly needs replacing. I'm sure I've got one, but that one, because this was more or less SIBO's version of Miele's cat and dog, it did have a charcoal filter, which is why that makes that noise. Because there's uh, charcoal granules in here. But yes, that is well due for replacement. But, you know, being a SIBO, you can get the parts pretty easily and really relatively cheaply. Certainly compared to Miele parts, they're expensive. And not as easy to get hold of a lot of Miele parts. But SIBO often provide exploded views of their cleaners showing all the all the component parts and the part numbers. So you can normally find the bits you need. Which is good. I wish Miele would do that. Now, is there something broken? No, I don't know if there is. This looks a bit bare there. I'll have to compare it with the other one. But I've got quite a few of these C models. I, as I said, I like them. 
they are an elegant looking vacuum functional there we are that's clicked in because obviously I won't be able to put the bag door on properly unless the bags in place you see these lovely big four swivel casters better than having two wheels all casters makes it much more maneuverable with a vacuum cleaner that's got wheels at the back and a one cast at the front you can sort of pull it like this but you sort of can't you know go like that um, on the top you've got uh, sort of a I was going to say it's a piston, but I don't know if it is piston or a light. But there is a bag check indicator there. And next to it you can see a blanking piece where there would have been a power takeoff socket. Two very big foot pedals, one for your auto cord rewind and one to switch the machine on and off. And two dials. Well, it's one dial. I don't know why. I've never known. I've never understood why. They're not independent of each other. No, they're not. But anyway, this is controls the suction. Perhaps you do it. I think actually they're that shape because they can be foot operated. You can use your finger, but I think because, yeah, I think that's why you could use your foot. Possibly not with just socks on, but you'd have to wear, you'd have to have your slippers or your fluffy mules. But um, yeah, I think you can just do that with your foot. Right, seems okay. Let's pull out the cord, probably quite dirty. Oh. First problem, the cord's not going to stay in, is it? <laughs> I think we could be onto it, yeah. Yeah, look, obviously that wasn't mentioned, was it? Look, sellers, people who sell on eBay, check what you're selling, check everything. But the lady, I think, that sold this obviously didn't pull the um, flex out, did she? Because otherwise, she'd know. Now, there's normally a little sort of a rubber piece on a, a flex rewind that locks the flex rewind reel in. Anyway, I'll be able to get whatever I need for this or take it out of that other one use the other as a donor but I would like to keep the other one working to sell on it's no point really just ruining a cleaner that does work just for the sake of buying a few bits that I could buy anyway but yeah that's not going to stay out I'm afraid let me just plug in <laughs> Well, the motor sounds all right, doesn't it? Well, I'm going to have to put my my knee on the cable. Smells a bit musty, but it doesn't smell like it's uh, it's on 60 a day like that other one did. That other one really needs a complete strip down. It needs a, you know, it needs a, a thorough bath, really. I remember these in the shops. They're not that old. I remember seeing these in uh, Alders department store and for some reason not getting one. But, you know, I do have some new ones that I got uh, from eBay, so I'm quite happy. I've never had one of these brand new though. Would have liked to have had a new one of these. Let's see. Oh, it's just. Let's pop that under there. I might. I might just email the seller and say I might get some money off. I don't know. I just ex normally accept stuff unless it's very bad. I'll just think. Oh well. I'll just accept it. But I can't. I can't recall this being exactly a bargain. So it's complete though, apart from the instruction book. Um, And they don't turn up on eBay very often, to be honest, the C-Series. So when they do, I think, oh, well, I'll go for that. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Going to put down a bit of dirt, actually, on my rug. Test out this turbo and maybe test out the other nozzle. 
Sorry, I haven't got matching socks. I really, I knew this would be red. I should have put red socks on. I do apologize, sock watchers. Well, maybe I will contact the seller, unless I haven't closed that. The belt spine wasn't rotating at all. It should, it should work. Um, let's get all this muck out. I don't think it's anything serious. Once it's stripped down and cleaned, doesn't, I don't know. Yes, it has sealed. No, that's, that's, that's not working, is it? Hey, that doesn't work. As I said, it's probably a simple fit. It's probably just a case of unscrewing it, giving it a good clean and a bit of lubrication. To be honest, I can't see the... The blades look okay, don't they? They're not broken. And it is moving. The belt's fine. But I think... Could, yeah, it's something to do with this. This should float. This br the brush, you can't. The brush, look. Yes, you can see. It wouldn't be. It would be useless anyway. The brush is is nowhere near. You might just see there. Look, it's nowhere near the nozzle. So that needs to be pulled up somehow. There's something. It should be floating. It should move up and down. I just think it's a case of it's it's gunked up. I won't be doing a demo then. <laughs> Not at the moment. Um, I have been trying to get uh, a lot of demos done for my backlog, and this will be one. Possibly if I have a SIBO week. At the time of making this video, it's Dyson week. And I will be doing other themed weeks. Ah, oh, hang on, I've just seen something, look. Ha! That shouldn't... Uh, that shouldn't be open like that. It's probably losing quite a lot of suction. Anyway, I'm not too fast, but I think I might contact the seller and see if I can get some money off. That's not working. And the auto cord rewind is working when it shouldn't. Just unplug it. It's just not, uh, it's not staying open, is it? But anyway, there we go. A lovely quality, despite its problems, it's, it is a quality cleaner. But I don't think they would have sold very well. I, I, don't, I somehow think that SIBO's best seller. Oh, come on, let the viewers see you. SIBO's best seller, I would, would say, would be the X series. But, you know, it's still a lovely, lovely cleaner. So, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions about this SIBO or any SIBO, I'll try and answer them. I do have quite a, a selection of SIBO cleaners now. So, until the next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.